What it do? It's your boy Webby. Stay Webby TV. Back at y'all with another one. Let's get it, man. So all of Sander Usyk has been stripped of his IBF title. He is no longer undisputed after only being the undisputed champion for literally one day. He just became undisputed on Saturday when he beat Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King, beat him by split decision. And um, apparently one of those titles that Usyk or, Fu Usyk or Fury, one of those titles that either fighter had, it was supposed to be defended um, against Herkovic, who's going to fight Daniel Dubois for that IBF title. And um, this is bullshit, man. This is this is this goes to show this is why we always say that boxing is a corrupt sport. Boxing is ran by the mob. It's ran by the powers that be. And they're constantly finding ways to make people uh, drift further and further away from the sport of boxing, man. This is bullshit. Even though the IBF title should have been defended against Herkovic, you don't do that. Oh, listen, Olesander Usyk was just in a war. That was a very, very close fight. Those dudes, man, like any fight, either one of those two could have won that fight. And... Usyk took a lot of damage in that fight. Even though he got off the, the, the bigger power punches, he almost knocked out Tyson Fury. I believe he did. Um, the only reason I'm not going to fully say he knocked out Tyson Fury is because he didn't hit the ground. But if you really pay attention to that fight, man, um, Tyson Fury was pretty much saved by the referees in that fight, man. Tyson Fury was taking a fucking beating. Um, he was backing up. Um, the only thing that stopped him from hitting the floor is his heart, man. Shout out to Tyson Fury for being a tough motherfucker. I'm not surprised that he, hit, he didn't hit the ground. Because I remember when Deontay Wilder knocked the soul out of his body, he stood back up like the fucking Undertaker, even though the referee was a 10 count, but the referee saved him on that one too. But we got to give credit to Tyson Fury. But listen, man, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. Um... What the what the boxing commissioner should do, right? Is they should say they should say this. Look, um, we're gonna let Tyson Fury rematch Ola Sander Usyk because it's in a contract, right? But whoever wins the rematch has to have an immediate title defense against Flip Herkovic for the IBF title. We just had the biggest heavyweight boxing fight in decades. The first time we had an undisputed heavyweight champion and you reward the winner by stripping him of one of his titles that he didn't even get to have for two days. This is fucking insane. Who gives a fuck that one of the titles should have been defended? Who gives a fuck? Because there's been plenty of times where Canelo Alvarez didn't defend his championship against the number one contender. He didn't get stripped. So why the fuck are you stripping Ola Sander Usyk, who just became the heavyweight undisputed champion on fucking Saturday? This is crazy. This is insane. This is why you hear so many boxers say they don't give a fuck about the belts. Because at any given time, they could pull some shit like this where they just take one of your belts. They did the same thing to Terrence Crawford. They did the exact same thing to Terrence Crawford when he beat Errol Spence. I think it was like a week or two later to strip him of one of his titles because he didn't defend it. Come on, man. So now, so what they're doing, this is this is the play, right? So they're going to have Herkovic fight Danny Dubois. And whoever wins that fight is going to fight Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is going to try to get the belt from one of those two. And then they're going to have Anthony Joshua versus Usyk or Tyson Fury. So that's the play that they got going on. But I, I just don't think that's fair to Usyk, man. I don't think that's fair at all. Um, he put his life on the line in that fight. Him and Tyson Fury put their lives on the line. They gave us a hell of a fight. This is the first time we had an undisputed fight that actually lived up to the hype. When we had Floyd versus Manny, it did live up to the hype. When we had Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford, it didn't live up to the hype. This was a fight that came down to a split decision. If you ask me, this fight could have been a draw. I had uh, Usyk winning the fight, but this could have been a draw, man, because Tyson Fury was going to the body. He was doing this thing. If it wasn't for that almost knockdown, um, I think it should have been a draw. But when when uh, Usyk got that 
that big punch off in the seventh round and Tyson Fury got saved by the referee, that's when I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and give the fight to uh, Usyk because Usyk closed the fight out in great fashion. You know what I'm saying? I had him winning like the first three or four rounds and I had him winning uh, seven through 12. You understand what I'm saying? But um, this is bullshit, man. This is absolute bullshit. And um, I think boxers should stop worrying so much about titles. I think, I think boxers at this point in time should focus more on making big fights. But when it comes to titles and becoming undisputed, um, these commissioners that own these belts, they're showing everybody why these belts don't matter. This is why you see a guy like Gervonta Tank Davis fighting whoever he wants to fight, just trying to make the biggest money fights possible. Because at any given moment, number one, when you get a belt, you got to pay for it. That's number one. You got to pay You got to pay fees on the belt every month. That's number one. Number two, you have to defend the belt against a person that might not even be worth fighting. You understand what I'm saying? Like, And it's like at any given moment, whoever owns the belt could decide to take it away from you. The fact that they would take a belt away from the undisputed heavyweight champion after not even two days. It just shows everybody, man, these belts don't mean shit, man. So with that being said, man, this is bullshit. This is a fucking disgrace to the sport of boxing. And um, I want to apologize to Ola Sander Usyk for having to go through this, man. I mean, the guy, from what I heard, the guy was pretty banged up in that fight against uh, Tyson Fury. He, from what I heard, he had to go to the hospital. So this is insane, man. This is insane, man. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment. I'm out.